In continuing coverage tonight, after years of discussions, lawmakers have proposed a bill to fund a passenger train through Colorado, from Pueblo to Cheyenne, Wyoming. KRDO News Channel 13's Julia Donovan is live overlooking Colorado Springs with details. Julia? Jen, the state determined last year that a train connecting major Colorado cities like Colorado Springs is possible. I'm told if this bill passes, it's full steam ahead for the Front Range Railway. State Senate President Leroy Garcia says it's now the perfect time to get things started as the Biden administration rolls out its $2 trillion infrastructure package. But the funding Colorado could get for a passenger train along I-25 likely won't cover everything. The new Senate bill would appoint a board to hammer out the details and ask voters to raise sales tax in areas where the Amtrak train would stop by up to nearly a penny on the dollar to help pay for it. Garcia says it'll be worth it. Colorado can see it as an option for connectivity to alleviate a lot of the congestion that exists. He says the railway would also reduce car emissions and create jobs. When you look at Europe and the options that they have in other places for rail transportation, there's no reason why we couldn't have this in Colorado. But skeptics say the state's transportation system has other funding priorities like road work on I-70. With the bill just being introduced, there's still a long ways to go. Garcia told me if it passes, the Front Range Railway could be ready for passengers between five to ten years from now. The bill's first committee reading has not been scheduled yet. We'll, of course, keep you updated on this developing story. Reporting live overlooking Colorado Springs, Julia Donovan, KRDO News Channel 13.